Hi everyone. Well, I thought I'd give you a quick tour of um, how things are going. Um, weeds are just starting to pop up again, but we did weed them. That, that bit over there desperately needs to do it. A bit of a spider thingy going over there though. The oh, yucca has gone crazy again this year. So I am wanted to show you, this is the end of the Yarnavan and I've got this little ledge that I've got this little power, uh, flower pot on and I really like him, he's cool. And uh, then I've got this little elephant one over here. I love an elephant. So uh, this is where we do the barbecue area here and there's my egg chair. It's got that towel on the back of it just so that um, I don't get burnt on the back of my neck. And this side we've got some roses coming out and a few flowers now coming out over here i've got still got to um paint my cats uh, which i will do and so yeah look at the caravan how clear is that look at that no junk anywhere to be seen so if i come over this way you can now see I've got that plant pot there, there's nothing in it at the minute. And I've also got this one, but I can, I've got some, when I showed you the barbecue, underneath there are some pots, which um, I can use for the outside of here to plant up if I want. So coming over here, which is better for me because that sun is a little bright, but as you can see, the end of the garden is now quite um, flat. And it's in two steps at the moment. We will have a step up to that and a little wall around it. Um, if we go along to the end, um, that whole end is um, concreted. This will be a path, but it's not obviously secure yet. But it is, this is all concreted area, but this used to be outside the caravan. I've got Gary to move it, but that's mostly his stuff that he's using for work and um there's the runner beans so he's done he's relayed all of this this was all coming up and behind him we've got lots of plants there's a nice fuchsia coming out there and um, we've got lots of lavender because he loves it or lilac lavender i nearly nearly got the wrong one um but this is kind of where joyce's ashes were put and so they've got I don't know what that was. I'll have to figure that one out with Gary. That was definitely, maybe some concrete was in a bucket and that's what came out. I don't know. Um, I don't think I remember it ever, us ever having anything that was round. Um, but yeah, they've kind of been long. I mean, some of them are still quite small, but we've got a few fuchsias coming out. But this topsoil has been really good there's uh, very little weed coming up only here and there we've got some ivy coming up there this little acer decided to die although i've had one die before and come back um this rose this must have come from a bird poop because it's right close to the wall um there's another one there i don't think it throws seed but who knows then there's this tea rose up here We've got a little squirrel. Hi, Granny D. Um, some, I forget what that's called. I always think it's Albrecia, but yeah, it probably is. But yeah, see how clear, how clear is the yarn van? Cool, huh? And here's my key. I was just on my way in there and I thought I did say I would do a little video. But I haven't actually got any plants to put in my pots yet. Um, I will get some. I've got a little welcome mat of Grogu. Just empty pots. But I did take some cuttings the other day of some fuchsias. So hopefully I will be able to kind of increase my stock that way. But we've got quite a lot. Um, quite a lot of plants in already. So uh, they're all small at the moment. But I wanted to get some nice shrubs along here. Because that way 
it cuts down on the amount of bedding plants that you need because it's quite a large area if you think those two big pots um you know uh, flower beds and then you've got this whole long kind of raised bed it's cost quite a lot to get bedding plants for it unless we uh, grew our own got a greenhouse or something but not really into that sort of thing but in an evening once the sun disappears from the end of the house that's the sunny spot so i just figured that if we had a nice little seated area there then we could uh, go down there and also um i could try now that that's set I could try and set up and do a live stream in the garden. That might work because my neighbour gave me his um, his Wi-Fi code. So I might be able to, because his, his is just over this fence, I might be able to piggyback off of that and uh, do a little live stream or something out in the garden, which would be cool. So yeah, this is this is how it's looking. Gary's been working really hard getting all that done. Remember, that was just a massive jungle of weeds and um first of all we had the membrane killing the weeds and then he's done an awful lot of work to get that uh like it is that bit round the the corner will be his uh shed base and all that stuff mostly will be in the shed oh look there's gary's beer bottles of when he was working he obviously forgot those ones but yeah i think it's really looking lovely and clear and and stuff so if i look from this side there's the table and chairs and stuff and under here this is where the pots are some of them are quite uh, wide pots um some of them are quite tall so we might get a cut in like this put in the tall one and maybe put that outside um out the front in a pot so that it can be moved but up there that is um, a really nice wisteria that goes over the fence if it survives so we're hoping it does anyway that's um that's what gary's been up to so all along that bit there it will come all the way out it's going to be a path will come from there all the way down here this will all be ripped up or flattened so that we can pave it and it will be like these paving stones but all the way along and from here this path will kind of straighten and then maybe wider because it's not very wide at that point and then go to the house and then this area out here where the table and chairs is we will have like a flat area that, um, for that so that um, you know we can put the table and chairs on that and uh, at the moment we've just got a layer of stone on this bit here um, and then we just put it on the grass, but that will eventually just kill grass. So we're going to have like a little paved area for the table and chairs. Gary did want to put the table and chairs all the way down there. But I thought, you know, when I'm cooking the barbecue, I don't really want <laughs> to be right up there. Although I suppose we could put everything up there. It's a bit far out from the house when you have to keep going to get stuff. So, uh yeah, but let's see how much work he's uh, done. I'm sorry if I'm moving this about, only I've not got it on the uh, selfie stick or the gimbal, just holding it in my hand. So hopefully it's not too too jerky. But I've been sitting on the chair to get rid of all the cobwebs. There's, I haven't got rid of all of them. There's a good few around there. But you only have to kind of go inside for a while and you come back in this spider central in on the uh, decking, I wipe them all away. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.